sitaki nimechoka nini urudi kwenu abuse within intimate relationships is often kept in secret I want to go behind closed doors and speak to the youngest and latest face of domestic violence. I want to see the front line of protection and justice. Fida need to come down and yeah need them they need to be devolved. They need to devolve themselves. I want to discover how deep issues surrounding violence are. Alikuwa anatua anatembea kwa kijiji akiangalia kama kuna mwanaume ambaye anafanana na huyo msichana wangu. To try and get on top of this growing epidemic among married couples, there have been a series of TV campaigns in Kenya to create awareness. The Kenyan government was also forced to change the law. Physical assault, emotional, sexual abuse and verbal abuse are now classified as crimes. We are in Kibwezi, Makweni County. More women here are now finding themselves in abusive relationships than ever before. But most of them don't want to talk about it. They suffer in silence. Today, we are responding to a call that a lady has been nursing serious injuries after she was physically abused and burnt by her husband. <laughs> It all started when she asked for financial support. Hello. Before then, Benita says she had been shouldering almost all the responsibilities in the house, including paying rent. Nikamuliza ni tikiti ama ni nini? Hakunijibu. Akanyamaza. Akakaa. Nikamuliza hii nyumba inalipwa, uji nalipanga pesa ngapi? Hii ni stima tunatumia. Uji natumia pesa ngapi? Kuna tumia kama kila kitu. Na uji kila kitu baada ya pesa ngapi? Na nilete 510. Ni ya nini? Kuna mtoto wangu mdogo huwa mwisho anakunyanga uji usiku. Nikasema Acha ni wakisha stop na mpike uji ya kiamuka, apata uji. Mini kwa wakisha stop. Siku wakilea supuria, mtoto wakaitana kwa kitanda. Kuchukua mtoto kubeba, hile kwa muka hivu njua ufunge nini hile hapa. Umfunge hivu ni kasikia mtoto mtuguna alafanya fanya hivu alanita, maam, maam. Nika shindwa ni nini? Kupita mkono hivi, moto ndio hiyo naanza. Hiyo njamaa natukua nasema yako imeisha. Yako imeisha. Nika muambia zini chukulia mtoro ni kube penke angu. Haku shungulika na mimi. Alikuwa mekaa kwa kiti. Nika hitu weka jamaa kana hitu wa moza. Nika muambia moza kimbio ni chukulia mtoro. Kimbio ni chukulia mtoro na mtoro alichomeka mingu. Haka kimbia. Haku uja kachukua mtoro haka enda kwa kila kwa mlango yake. Na hile kekwe nilikuwa ni mefunga mtoro na ayo. Haka anza kuni kupika ile moto. Najua ni metuwa kapo inje. Nikaanza kunipika ile mota ismike, ikaiwaka, ikashika nyuele, nilikuwa nimeshukwa. Ikashika nyuele, akanipika kichwa, ikateremuka. Ikaanza kuwaka tu, najua niko inje, na najua upepo ni mingi. Ile moto tu ikaendelea, ikaendelea, ikaendelea kuhuja kupika kwa tumbo. Ile mshipi ya skati, ndia ilibaiki. That his wife was burning did not bother him at all. And it took the intervention of a border border operator who offered to drop her in hospital. Nikata si mwuchu yata waleo. Nikasikia kasema, si zangu mali yako anateseka hivu, haka niwekelea kwa mwata mbaiki, kwa private ingine yato 24 at river. Haka nipeleka hapo. Hata si kuchuzo ndipo siti, niwekelewa kwa kitanda. Waka anza kunutuwa hile ngozi, hile kuna hile maji. Waka nutuwa kwa nipaka hile ndawa ya white. 
kesho yake ndo kitali mkubwa akakuja akasema nipiko transfer wakanuliza nipeleke Kinyata ama nipeleke wapi nikamwambia kwa kinipeleka Kinyata nenda kukuvia huko na sina mtu wa kwetu wanipeleka panda za majakos hapo ndio karibu na nyumbani na amelala huko hospitali miezi 5 nimemotoa huko mwezi wa kwanza tarehe 24 nikamuleta hapa nyumba na kumuleta hapa nyumba si yani si kufikiria kumweka kwa hospitali tena nyenye nimeanza kumweka hiyo dunia ya mahindi her parents are now feeling the pinch of ensuring she gets back on her two feet mako mkimtibu aje alikuwa akitibiwa kienyeje tu mm kienyeje una maanisha nini yani kuweka magunia ile ambayo mtu akichomeka na anani anawekwa mm ndio inamkalisha na mna hiyo na umejaribu kuzungumza na kijana ama mzee wa mtoto wako labda ujue ni kipi kilifanyika huyo yani wanake wanake unajua kila mtu alikuwa anaongea kifupi yake alitulipoulisa alisema yani yeye ndiye alijiweka moto na nilipoulisa msichana wakati alikuwa na nini nafuu kidogo akasema wanake ndiye alimchoma na moto yeah akamwagia mafuta ya taa na akamchoma she says her husband had turned her into a punching bag Matuzi ni yao ni malaya mtu wa kilabu natuziwa natandikwa mpaka nikakunushwa majakala ya mtoto ikiwa na mafi yote nikavumilia these scars and bruises signs of what is going on inside ningependa kuuliza waweza kumsamea sasa ni msamee kipipi Cases of gender based violence are becoming too common in Kibwezi. Juzi tu alikuja nyumbani akaniambia ni kama nimetoka kwa mzee mwingine wa kando. Akanichapa akachukua mtungi ukiwa na maji, akanirushia nikiwa kwa kitanda. Sasa ile kumsukuma tu akakonga ukuta. Kuamka alinipiga tu, alinipiga alafu akanipika kichwa nilikuwa nimeumia hapa kwa mdomo. Sasa mimi nikamwambia eri mi tuachane niende zangu na akaniambia popote utakapoenda itakuwa mimi ndiyo nitakuwa nitamaliza nitachukua uhai wako saa hii na, naishi na yeye aliniambia nikienda tu ataniua Maria Chule was forced to leave her matrimonial home following daily beatings from her husband. She had endured insults and vulgarities being hurled at her almost every day by a man she loved. Tulikuwa sana mimi nikatoka nikaenda nikaoga. Kuoga nikakuta nguo yangu ya ndani ya miaka pilipili. Kuiva nikaanza kuwashwa. Sasa nikatoa hizo nguo nikaenda mpila nguo. Kaenda kuomba nguo victims of domestic violence are accusing the police of failing to help them seek justice benita was burnt by her husband in september last year she suffered 70% burns but despite her relatives reporting the matter to the police in machakos her perpetrator is walking free this bed in her father's house has been her companion no medical attention has been forthcoming every other day you are you are hearing that a woman has his hand her hand has been uh, has been chopped off uh, legs have been chopped off there was a the, recently there was in makindu we went to visit this uh, young woman very young very young whose leg was uh, was cut off her hand and seeing these cases it really really depresses me the question is what is happening officials from the county government led by the deputy governor adelina mwao responded to a call later that day and booked benita into makindu sub county hospital our efforts to locate her husband are yet to bear fruits we are told 
he is back to his village in Machakos County. Benita and Maria are just but part of the over two-thirds of women worldwide who are abused in their lifetime, some of whom suffer in silence until the abuser ultimately takes their life. Now we've been here in Kibwezi in Makweni County and we've talked to quite a number of gender-based violence victims and what is pretty clear is that most of the victims choose to suffer in silence. Na ngoje musianango anini apone ndio tuende kwa timi nijue kwa sababu gani nijue ni nani Kama magoza hiko kwa musiana angu, nijue. Kama hiko kwa gijana, nijue. But the figure merely hints at the full scope of the problem. Enoxicolia, NTV. Yeah.